All right. Today we're doing my first unboxing. Um, basically, after I hung my Martian 230 in a tree, I decided it was finally time for me to get away from the CC3D flight controller board and step up to the SP um, F3 flight controller. Uh, supposedly it's supposed to be a lot uh, better, a little bit more uh, smooth and less buggy. But uh, anyways, let's just get to the unboxing. So this is the uh, Isheen Falcon 250 Pro uh, with the 10 degree motor mount. And it comes with the SP Racing F3 flight controller in it. Inside the box, first thing you see here, looks like it's probably a charger or battery. Yep, it's a battery. So it's a uh, 1500 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt, uh, 25C LiPo. That's a three cell LiPo with a XT60, which I'll be changing out for a Deans connector. Power plug for a charger. Bind plug for the receiver. And circular polarized uh, video transmitter. It's a VTX antenna. It's probably a right hand. like four little foam feet for the quadcopter, which I will not be using those. They're just going to fall off anyway. Like, yep, standard C3 Pro Charger. That's trash. It can destroy some batteries. I highly recommend uh, picking up a little bit better charger than the one that comes with it. charger. Uh, Ishii Velcro strap to the battery. <coughs> Looks like two sets of props, black and red. Five by 45 two blade props. These are probably pretty decent props, but they don't they don't seem to last very long. They, they tend to crack a little bit quicker than some of your other stuff out there. Uh, then it's going to have the Fly Sky, what is it, FSI 6 uh, radio that is relabeled Isheen I 6, but that is the Fly Sky. Um, this is actually a pretty smooth remote. I like the way these work, um, they tend to do really well. Falcon Pro. Tilt you way back. It's got LEDs all over this thing. Um, so it's got a set of LEDs on the front, set of LEDs on the back, and LEDs on each motor block as well, which is kind of cool. This one does have the adjustable uh, camera angle, so you can adjust it on the fly. Uh, some people like that. Some people find it to be quite the pain in the neck. Um, I prefer the rigid mount just because of the fact that uh, 
a lot of times when you crash and rip these balls, uh, the camera gets crooked on you, and if you don't have extra balls up with you in the field, um, it's it's pretty much out of condition. A lot of times, even if you have extra rubber balls with you in the field, it's really hard to get them back into place the way they should be. Um, so it's just kind of be a pain in the neck altogether. But yeah, there it is. These little antennas are going to have to be tucked away. Um, generally, I would wrap these in heat shrink and uh, get them riding along this bar here on each side. Just kind of get them out of the way of the props so they don't get eaten up on accident. But yeah, that's, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing, and I'll have some first flight videos coming soon. Thanks.